This video is about the new VMware Fling power actions, bringing together the vSphere web client and Power CLI to make your automated life better. Taking a look through the prerequisites, we will be setting up a PowerShell host machine which will run our PowerShell sessions. This is required to be Windows 2003 or newer or Vista or newer. Power CLI will need to be installed on your host machine and it uses the .NET Framework 4. Do not use the .NET Framework 4.5. You will need SSO administrative privileges for the installation and you will need to make sure both machines are synced. So let's take a look at through the install. You can see we would run the MSI file and accept the normal EULA. As we go through the installation, the first thing we will need to provide is the actual PowerShell host machine details. So in this case, I'm installing it on the machine where I'll be running PowerShell. And my host name and domain name is controlcenter.corp.local. Again, this is the actual PowerShell host machine that will run the PowerShell session. Next, we'll require the server that has our lookup service. In this case, it's my virtual center server. So I will copy my virtual center server name in to the lookup service URL box and I will provide a SSO administrator username and a password for that account. We'll click next and we'll click install to finish the installation. Let's close the website there, the web client. We'll wait for the installation to finish and the services to start. Once the installation has finished, you can go to your services and you can see that you will have a new service on this PowerShell host that actually controls the PowerShell hosting side of things. You'll see we have a Power Actions for vSphere web client and that that is started. Now if we go back into our vSphere web client, and this can be from any box at all now, even Safari on a Mac. So let's log in as our administrator account, but you can actually log in as any account now. And once the web client has started, you'll see we have two new items in the actual web client. We have the PowerCLI console. And within here, we actually have an interactive console for use with PowerCLI. And it will have the normal features like tab completion for our commandlets. Let's type get v and hit tab. And we can see it fills our get vm commandlet. And it will instantly list our virtual machines there in the console. The other area we have is PowerCLI scripts, and this will list my scripts, but also shared scripts, which we can share amongst all the people that use the web client. But for now, let's go into the My Scripts area, and you can see that one of the features of this fling is that we can actually go to a, a menu item or an object inside of Virtual Center, and we have a PowerCLI menu item where we're able to create a script. So I right clicked on my cluster there, I'm creating a new script and I'm calling it snapshots over 30 days old. This is going to be a reporting script rather than an action and you can see it puts some bo a body in our script already. Let's take a look at a website where we know this script exists already. Julian Wood has created a great one-liner script that will actually list the snapshots that are over 30 days old. So let's take a copy of that uh, one-liner from his website and adjust that to meet our needs in this script. So we'll paste that straight into the actual console here and we'll adjust it to work with us. You can see that actually we right clicked on the cluster so we're bringing in a cluster object and it's going to store that cluster object in vparam. So the first thing we need to do is get the VMs for, for that cluster. So we're going to specify that cluster, the vparam. And then we're going to get the snapshots and then we're going to get the snapshots in our case over 60 days old, not 30. And we're going to adjust it so that 
not just the name comes back but the actual VM object itself and we'll show you more about that in a second and one of the other features of this fling and we can go through and we'll see the actual name and the created time as well so we'll finish that and we've now created our first script so we can go into PowerCLI scripts and we can see our existing scripts that we have in there and we can edit those from here or we can delete those as needed but let's go back to our cluster. We can right click on our cluster, we can go to Power CLI, and we can actually execute script this time. And our script is right there. So we'll execute that script. And you can see it brings back the snapshots that are over 60 days old. We can right click on that and we can actually use it as if it was a, an actual VM object. So the object is being translated back into a web client object here and we can use it as if it was a VM. And we can execute further scripts from that if we need to. You have seen a quick demonstration of power actions. Download the fling today.